Hi everybody and welcome to JLB Arts latest pet portrait commission. This is Freya. Freya is the most gorgeous boxer. She has the most outstanding eyes. I think boxers always have that really kind of goofy, intriguing look. So here we go, building up the dark and the lights within the eye. To get that really glossy finish, I always do a layer of Caran d'Ache Luminance White over the top. Starting to work on the ears and taking into account that the fur looks really short around the ears, even though it's incredibly fluffy. So you have to blend out those tonal layers and working from dark to light and ensuring that your pencil strokes are shorter as the fur on the ears are a lot shorter than around the head. Working on the tonal values around the eyes, I started off with a layer of indigo blue. This really makes black a lot deeper and richer colour. You can also use other tones like greens and blues. It all adds a layer of depth. It depends on the colour tonal variation within the photograph that you are working from. Freya really does have some lovely tones to her fur and there is quite a lot of pink within her fur even though it looks quite beige and orange. It's just beautiful to layer up and then blend out to get that really fluffy soft texture. Here I go working on Freya's nose. To start with, I use a medium pressure within the nostrils with my indigo blue. These are the polychromos for Fabier Castell. They are amazing pencils, really do love them on this surface, which is Clairefontaine pastel matte. And as you can see, I'm just mapping out all the little marks I can see within the nose with really light pressure at this stage we can go four or five layers and then blend out to make it softer and then building up to the final tones that you see within the nose so now i've nearly got freya's nose in i now start working on freya's muzzle which is quite a variation of greys cold greys and warm greys and then finally adding some highlights on Freya's nose with just a museum white aquarel pencil. I love this pencil for highlights, it really does stand out well on the pastel mat. Moving down through Freya's mouth and the side of her jowls and then working on the final piece, which is the collar, which I absolutely loved creating, and the fur under her chest. The tonal variations of the fur on her chest were slightly different to her head. 
and uh, this can be through the light of the photos and where she was standing because she was standing next to a window in the light in the photo that was provided. I've absolutely loved creating Freya, this pet portrait. And if you've enjoyed it too, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and then you do not miss any more of my future videos. If there was anything you would like to see or you would like me to video to show you, please feel free to pop me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.